Um, I'm Liz Tom. Uh, oh. Okay. Um, I work here in Portland at a place called Pop Art. Um, I run into problems every day that look kind of like this, and I didn't really understand what this meant. I just knew that every time I had an error, people were like, oh, check out the stack trace. So I was like, okay, and that's a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> but basically, all it meant was that this is where my program had failed in the call stack. But I didn't really understand what a call stack was, so I thought I should probably investigate a little further. Um, turns out, call stack is the order in which uh, the programming language is executing our functions. So uh, JavaScript has one call stack. And if you have some functions, it basically pushes them onto the call stack. Um, so for example, if you have a great idea, like you wanna sell $12 toast, um, it gets pushed onto the call stack, which calls uh, execute idea. And then that calls make money, which calls console log. Um, console log then just finishes and gets popped off the stack. Uh, then make money finishes and gets popped off. Same with execute idea and then have a great idea. So then your call stack is empty. Uh, it turns out you can also uh, exceed a call stack, which happens sometimes. And I found out also that all browsers have different maximum call stack sizes, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, so then this gets more interesting uh, when we work with uh, the web API. Um, so if we have set timeout, the way that works is you call um, have a great idea, which calls set timeout. Uh, that gets pushed off to the web API. Um, and continues going while you keep calling your other functions. Um, so it's gonna finish at some point, um, and it gets put into the queue, uh, but it's not being executed yet, even though you think it should be called, but it hasn't been called, um, because it needs to wait for the stack to empty, and when the stack empties, it can be pushed into the stack, and uh, executed like all your other functions would be. Um, and that is why I guess I was always told not to use set timeout to count on time uh, because you don't know how long it's gonna take for your stack to clear before it goes. So it's really the minimum time. Um, if you're interested in learning more, I found this really cool resource when I was researching this. Uh, this actually will show you um, how this all works um, in a little web app. So that's it. <laughs>